So I'm here with Mikey Garcia at the Ethica headquarters. He just wrapped up a couple of meetings, working on some uh, some new designs, a new collaboration. Yep, yep. Some uh, fun new, uh, new design, new uh, graphic design with uh, some. I think people will enjoy it. I know Everybody we can't. Will. Isn't it funny because <laughs> we can't even tell any information so yet. I think I think everybody's gonna enjoy this this next uh, design for underwear. Nice underwear that we got. Go with the Ethica team and uh, yeah, okay. I give them my account and my idea, but they will be the ones to put it together, you know, and create the actual uh, design for it. I just give them a concept, I give them an idea. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, so you you have a, a big week this week, tomorrow? Starts starts tomorrow with the weigh-in. Uh, I think it's 5 o'clock, you said, right? 5, five, five, o'clock. 5 p.m., yes, at the hair doctors. Uh, hair, hair doctors. Um, we'll be there uh, getting all the like, kids weighed in for their for their event, uh, for, for their fight. Who, uh, well, it's Friday at the uh, events uh, center in uh, San Bernardino. Same place as last time. Uh, obviously, for, for full uh, address, details, flyers, social media. But... Uh, we're excited, it's, it's gonna be a good show. You know, we got B-Fly, very exciting. Everybody seems to be uh, excited for, for B-Fly. We got Alfredo, who's a very good uh, prospect that we have. Um, Ruben. Ruben Rodriguez, Ruben, Ruben yeah. Ruben there, and he's, he's a great fight, you know. He's, he's in a great fight. Um, I mean, we got a lot of guys, you know. All the local kids that we have will be there. Um, invite everybody, come out, you know, show support, show some love to your fighters. It's, this is where it all starts. You know, I mean, I turned pro at the Quiet Canyon. You know, I fought at the, the uh, Quiet Canyon, my first fight, and then I fought, you know, Oxnard, you know, Performing Arts Center. I fought different event centers like that. This is where it starts. So, uh, I'm excited for, for this weekend. Awesome, awesome. And so, the open invite, like, the, the, the family, the, friends, the way in is, is open. open Anyone can come. Anyone can come, meet the fighters, say hello. It's photos, gonna be pictures, food. Food, vendors, you know. It, I mean, we try to make it accessible and friendly for everybody, for the whole family, not just a certain age group. I mean, you're, you're, you're welcome to bring your kids, you know, bring your girlfriend, your wife, whoever. Meet some fighters, take some photos, get some pictures, you know. Awesome. So we're yeah. going to have some special guest appearances we will, also. We will, we will. We're having uh, special guest appearances. And, and like I said, I'm trying to learn from each event to make it a better event the next show. We'll make the next show a better event. Grow, develop it so that the fighters get more exposure out of it as well, so that the fighters uh, grow their, their fan base and gotta, gotta be accessible to the fans, you know. The fans wanna come see you perform, put on a good fight, put on a good show. But we also gotta entertain the fans, you know. Outside of, of the fight itself, we wanna entertain the fans, you know, by the time that they're there, you know, with food, with entertainment, with different uh, different special guests, you know, appearances. and. To make it more entertaining for everybody. Awesome. And then, random, a, a big, huge thing that's going on within like the boxing circuit is the, the fight with um, KSI. I believe it is uh, at how they're going to be a main card at the well, Staples Center. On, on this, yeah, Paul Instagram. Logan, I, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so, you know, some people are like, they find this as a slap in the face to boxing. And some people on the art. Well, they're actually turning pro, so they're actually having a real fight. They're turning pro. Hello. They're having a real fight. Real, they're, they're turning pro. Um, do you feel that this is this is uh, good for boxing, or do you do you personally? I, I does it affect you in any way? I think it's entertainment, and anybody that buys into that fight or buys a ticket to go watch them, they know what they're buying. A real boxing fan doesn't know who they are. Most definitely. So it's not. A boxing fight that they want to watch. It's the people who follow those kind of guys, you know, those, those those two in particular. I mean, I don't know who they are. I don't follow them. I'm not. I don't. I've they're seen. like they're huge YouTube yeah, sensations. Yeah. I'm sure, like Danny, yeah. Danny would totally. My kids, know. my kids know. You who they probably are. know. Do you know Paul Logan? Yeah, yeah. Paul Logan and KSI. Like they're but they're fighting. Same. They have like a real boxing match at the Staples Center. They're yeah. the main card, and they have pro boxers like. Um, well, they have to have pro boxers on that their are card. fighting beneath them. Yeah. They have to. Yeah, it's the main part though. I think. The zone is hosting it. Like yeah. you. So, so, for instance, Leo Santa Cruz. He said, "I think it's great." 
it's gonna help boxing, you know, get get, get that well, much you bigger. You get another market. You can, exactly. You can possibly get other fans that were not boxing fans, now they become boxing fans. Boxing fans, exactly. So that, that could work. But a real boxing fan is not the one that's gonna go buy that that fight. Cause to, to us boxing people, that's not a fight. My question to you, know, you like, But it is entertainment. <laughs> so if you wanna be entertained and have something, you know, hang out and do something in LA, you go do that. That's fine. Your kids, my kids, if they wanted to go see it, I'd probably end up taking them. And I mean, that's, that's the way it is. I don't see anything negative out of that. Most definitely. You know, I, I personally wouldn't be the one to jump up and buy a ticket for it. But if my daughter, my, my son asked me to go watch it, I probably will end up doing it. Would you ever be you opposed know? to being on a fight with your Ace <laughs> The Ace family, I know. I, I went to one of those. You went? No, you did I went not. With my daughter and the yeah. I heard that that's, did that not sell out? Yes. Yeah. I was there. Family man. We, we were there. I mean, my kids wanted to go, so we, we went. You know? Was it something that I wanted? No. But it was entertainment. Yeah. But it's entertainment. Exactly. Something different. So it's more, more or less along the same um, lines. So just, would you? Would you ever be willing to fight on a card like that? They could fight on my card. They could fight on your card. Okay, okay. Just, yeah. just curious. Okay. They could fight on my card, maybe. All right, all right. Um, just, you know, if, if, it, if it makes for a special attraction, like it's not a bad idea. Um, if you go back twenty plus years, um, you had Butterbean as a special attraction. Butterbean. He was a four-round champion. He never fought anything more than four rounds, I think. He came out of the Tuffman competition or something and won that, and now he became a professional boxer, and people bought you know, tickets to go see him fight as a special attraction. He, he had a few fights on, on, on major cards. Where he was the undercard, but it was there. I think he even fought on some pay per view cards as a co as the ones that were like starting, like the pay per view opening, opening down pay per view. Wow. So Tyson, I think he might have done it and stuff like that. It's entertainment, you know, it's an attraction. Butterbean, Were, weren't they referring, not they, I don't know, somebody did refer to a, to a Ruiz, Ruiz, forgive me, you know Ruiz. Ruiz, Ruiz, yes. Uh, didn't they? I, I'm pretty sure I saw that in the media. Yeah, they were like some butter bean, like that. Well, it was, butter bean was just a big, big guy. Big guy, yeah. So know, they did. They, they referred to him as, as butter type bean. Of fighter, but yeah, that was special and you know special attraction is what they call it because it's a fight. It's just definitely nowhere near Ruby because he's yeah he's uh, like, yeah. I mean, they, and they had other other they had other other special attractions fights like that within boxing, yeah. yeah.